Hey guys, so I wanted to check out a new component from the store. Cut table. They just told me that they just uploaded it, put it on the store. Oh, here, I think it's this one. It's called Stateful Grid. Let's check it out. Anton. Kosar, I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name, Kosar Chin, a staple grid, is a framework component in, aimed at rendering the data grids and list with the stateful logic behind it, S supports default, active, and hover, this component is still under development, so use it at your own risk, <laughs> uh, he gave us an example, whoa, this seems like like a full on component. Whoa. Oh, it comes with data. Whoa, whoa, I did not Okay. I I wanted this to be a quick tutorial, but let me check it out because this is like full on. Whoa, okay, let's install. Connect a default state. Let's see what the let's see what the documentation says. Oh, there's an example file. Okay. Let's download the GitHub repo. And then let's open it up in FrameRex. I need to use Git. Okay, cool. Uh, Okay, I'm assuming that this is the main. Okay. <laughs> wow, he already. Oh boy. <laughs> this is awesome. He put a lot of effort on to this one. Okay, I wonder if. Ah, oh, this is for your list. That's awesome. Um, the photo. Well, there's nothing on moments. There's nothing on profile. But still, that's one of them. That's for your to do app or for your cooking app. You can do that. Okay. And then you have your music app. I don't know if this is like taking his. It's probably just a hiccup on the canvas, not on the. Oh, uh -huh, that's awesome. So it looks like the data here is coming from a JSON file. And then he's, okay, he has an active state and a default state. That's why I'm able to zap into micro interactions like this. Okay. Oh, even the header. That's awesome. This is really cool for making lists. Like something else. Uh, so a lot of these problems come from the canvas, but it's not. That doesn't mean that the prototype actually doesn't work. It's just okay. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Okay, so there's like an edit mode. Jesus Christ, this is so awesome. What? He even made this little thing. That's sick. Ah, uh, this is so satisfying. <laughs> okay, I wish that these things like don't mess up. And then here we have our to do app. No, that's not a to do app. Yeah, he told me it was better. So he doesn't want to do that to do. 
huh. It needs a hiccup. Let's see. Let's close it. And let's open it again. Sometimes that that's the only thing that it needs for it to work. Okay. What? Ah, uh, yes. Yes. That's so much. Ah, and I can add more. YouTube. Edit. Yes. This is awesome. I can't wait to. Let's just take a look at the code a little bit. Let's see. Uh huh. Let's bring this back. Change. These are over. No, is this a component? No, this is an override. Yeah, this is an override file. You can see that the difference, this is an override and this is a, a component. And so this is to change the page. So I'm thinking that some of these are... Uh, oh, that's for the... For this is to change the page. Yeah, so there's probably, yeah, handle tabs. Uh, the override. Oh, so this is a grid. Wow. This is a grid that acts as a... This is the grid and it acts as like the little tab controller. That's so awesome. Um, yo, this is a really cool component. And it only has, it only has 11 downloads. Guys, this is like beautiful work. I definitely recommend, it's called Stateful Grid. This is so sick. Like this is like one of the best components I have seen on the store so far. You got the tabs, this is probably a JSON. You got the table for the album covers. This is a really cool. I'm gonna spend more time with this just to create my own components. Definitely recommend. Thank you for watching another.